Hello everyone, welcome back to another work vlog. I've been quite busy this season, which makes me appreciate my calm and predictable morning routine even more. It definitely reminds me how important structure and habits are because it allows me to go on autopilot no matter how tired I am in the mornings. As usual, I'm starting off my morning rituals with a simple 4-step skincare. I find a simple and consistent routine works best for me. And since today is an office day, I'm just doing my everyday makeup before getting dressed and making myself breakfast. I know that going back into the office could be a bit of a hassle, but honestly I do appreciate the change in environment and being able to work with my teammates in person, so I hope everyone's experience has been somewhat positive so far. Before I get going with another workday, I'd like to thank today's sponsor, Brilliant. So for those who don't know, Brilliant is an interactive e-learning platform where you can learn subjects like math, computer science, and data science. As part of their platform, they offer a vast library of different interactive lessons that make learning new topics very easy and very engaging as well. I personally love taking the statistic-based math lessons and solving the problems that comes along with it because I was a math major with a statistics concentration, so it's been a very long time since I touched any of those subjects. So I think I think it's just a really good way to brush up on those skills and I usually find time to do it during my commute to work as well so it's just a good way to pass time. So if you're interested you could try out Brilliant for free for the first 30 days and the first 200 people could get 20% off an annual plan by visiting brilliant.org slash Cho. and thank you again to Brilliant for sponsoring this portion of the video and let's go back to my regular morning routine and head to the office. We've been working on a new feature the past quarter and nearing close to our launch date. Even though this is exciting, this also means that work has been a lot more demanding than usual. And to stay on top of all my work, I've been writing down my tasks and bucketizing them into different priority levels. I usually never do this, but it's really helped me stay engaged on only my urgent tasks for the day. This week, I'm prioritizing code complete dates, so I have a few open code reviews to merge. I've been quite busy with resolving all the comments and raising new revisions this week. Hello, I currently just finished my on-call handover meeting and I'm really not looking forward to be on call because I've been just so busy this week and I also have someone shadowing me during my on-call rotation since she's a new teammate and she's just gonna be getting familiar with our on-call and operational processes. Um, so I'm just gonna be very busy this week I feel and I'm also trying to finish up some code implementation and then I have to test it as well. So yeah, I've just been very busy this quarter in general and I'm trying to find a good balance between all of the responsibilities that I have at work but sometimes it could get a little chaotic and I feel like this week is going to get very chaotic.
So usually I do try to eat healthy throughout the week, but there's honestly nothing I really want to cook in my fridge right now. So I think I'm just going to make instant ramen because I've had a really long day at work. I have a meeting in another hour and I deserve it. That's all the reasons I need. So this 8 p.m. meeting is for this new project that I'll be working on for the rest of Q4. So there's a product manager who's based in China and I think there's a few folks who's also based there. So that's why we had to accommodate them and have an evening meeting. I can't really go into detail on what I'll be working on, but it does involve three different systems. And I think it'll be interesting to be able to work with different teams across Amazon. Hi. So I just got off the meeting right now and honestly it just made me really stressed. I feel like I just have a lot on my plate right now and I'm only one person. I feel like I can't get everything done. I'm honestly so tired right now. I could barely keep my eyes open. I'm just gonna take a shower and play with Howl, then fall asleep. So I've been using this eye therapy warming compress for my eye for the past like three weeks but it's not helping. I honestly didn't feel like filming today especially because of my eye condition and also I was just very... Are you done? Today honestly was just not the best day for me. I couldn't even work out. I felt like I didn't have any free time and also I just had a very busy work day and I've been under a lot of stress especially because of all the deadlines coming up and I just have a lot of work to do but I feel like that shouldn't stop me from filming because there's never gonna be like the best day to film and I also think it's like very important to kind of show this side of my work life because i think on social media for sure especially tech jobs are very glamorized and i feel like showing a more unideal day of my life will help shine some light that tech jobs aren't always glamorous all the time there's a lot of things that go on that he agrees too i think what i'm just trying to say is at the end of the day a job is a job and there's always gonna be bad and good parts and definitely I feel like for me personally today was a bad day at work so I think I just want to say how my life isn't perfect all the time I know that I do strive to have a very structured life and day but sometimes work just gets very overwhelming and you need to just get through it and this is definitely the season where I just need to get through it because it's been quite busy and yeah, that's all I'm gonna say for now. <laughs>